Uh, keep going for Greg. Yeah. Um, Greg's a cartoon character. Um, like, I have, a, I have a story, like, that it'd be like 15 minutes. Uh, but you guys, you don't get to control. They've got the NFL draft going. You know, New York midgets are picking. You know, they used to be giants, but they're midgets. But um, I'm, I'm at Dave Roach 83. You can find me on Twitter. Um, and today, you know, let's cut it down. I'm going to basically tell you the story about how I hooked up with the deaf girl. And um, how I found this deaf girl was on a puddle of fresh fish, I mean plenty of fish, right? Like, I don't know about fish, but there's plenty of robots. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe just me, but. Um, so, I talked to this girl online for a little bit, and you know, I'm gonna go to her house. But on the way to her house, I find out first she lives in the Beirut section of Philadelphia, Kensington. And um, she's deaf. And not only that, but she has a deaf girlfriend. And they're both uh, born deaf. Never heard a sound, never spoke a word. Um, and I, I never really met people like that before. So, you know, but I'm not going to judge. You know, she's going to mess with the guy like at Dave Roach 83 on Twitter. <laughs> you know, you're going to have to give some things up. But. <laughs> So I, I get I get to her house and you know after passing like the crumbling buildings and kidneys still intact, I was like confident, but like I'm like ramming on this girl's door, but she's deaf, so she can't fucking hear me knocking. But like I'm texting her and like 30 seconds later she answered, but it felt like forever because like I honestly never felt more white in my life. Like I must feel like that's how much Dave like feels every day. It was scary. Um, I don't want to ever feel like that again, but she comes down and it's her, like it's really her. I'm like, yay, you know, organs gonna leave with me and all like, and you know, we go up into her apartment, but in her apartment is three other people, a dude, a girl, and like her girlfriend. Uh, but the, the dude and the other girl were a couple and they were not dead. Um, so like I, I walk in and dude is like smiling. I'm like fuck man, like he's looking at my like belly and stuff like. And he's like, oh, like what? Are you, what's up, homeboy? How you doing or whatever? I'm like, you know, just chilling. He's like, you know what you get yourself into? I'm like, uh, he's like, you know these bitches are deaf, right? Like these two, they're deaf. I'm like, yeah, like. He's like, you know they're fucking scumbags. I'm like, he's like, they're fucking deaf, dude. They cannot hear me. Just stopping on the ground. They can't hear me. They're deaf. I'm like, fuck, they're really deaf. Like, you're not, like, bullshitting me. Like, so, I'm texting with this girl because she can't talk. And I'm all like, are you ready to roll out or whatever? And she's like, yeah, but, you know, we got to bring my girl with me. I'm like, Whatever, I came all this way. We're gonna go to TGI Fridays, which is somehow her favorite place to go. But, you know, I guess, you know, deaf people have favorite places, you know. <laughs> but her girlfriend falls out of the fucking couch. She's like fucked up. And I'm like, you sure she wants to go? Yeah. <laughs> like, it was like circus, y'all. I'm sorry to be mean, but it was. <clears throat> Fuck yeah, please. And I'm like, oh my god, like, but she stumbles her ass up, and I get an Uber, and I'm like, all right, we're gonna go, we're all gonna go in this Uber. Right. <laughs> they, they say to you, nowhere near Uber. Uh, just so you get to that plate, Kellen. But um, we, we get this Uber, and this, her girlfriend reaches over and turns his radio all the way the fuck up. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Like, screaming at this bitch, she can't hear me. Like, and dude is all like, uh, are they deaf? I'm like, yeah, like, I've never met him before. Like, we're going on a date. He's like, well, I think they wanted to hear, like, the vibrations. And, like, you know they can't hear you, right? They're deaf. 
I was like, oh, no shit. Like, but she still shouldn't have turned your radio up. So, like, guessing two stars I got for that ride. Like, tops. Uh, so we go into the, the Teen Chat Fridays, and these girls you know, proceed to order drinks and food and drinks and drinks and drinks. And the girlfriend writes on the fucking napkin, do you want to have sex with me for money? And I'm like, no, but I'm gonna try with your girlfriend. <laughs> but like, I guess she couldn't hear me or whatever, but I'm, I'm pretty sure she can read the fucking lips because she like turned, but she fucking fell on the ground. <laughs> and she has this pocketbook, like Fritz, Fritz the fucking cat, plates, silverware, cups, sprawled out of this fucking bag, like this purse this big, all this shit. All over the floor. She's scrambling. This is Teach Out Friday. It's on Friday. It's not Monday. Like, it's not slow. Everybody's watching her. She's just, like, funneling this shit back in her bag. She gets up and is like, you know, the bar, arr, arr, arr. I'm like, bitch, shut up. What are you doing? So I would drink. I'm like, you're not getting no more fucking drinks. Like, you have enough drinks. I said, like, we're getting out of here. So I get, you know, I should have left that right then and there. I'm trying. I'm trying, man. I'm, you know, I'm like, we're getting the fuck out of here, but I should have just left and went the fuck home. But I'm a nice guy, and we go get the Uber, and she waits till the Uber gets to her bathroom. <laughs> Goes to the fucking bathroom. I feel like 10 minutes later, she finally gets out of the bathroom. And like, one star ride. Like, there's no way I got any more than like, star and a half tops. She gets in there, and like, she starts pulling out toilet paper out of her fucking bag like it's a magic trick. There's toilet paper all in the back of this dude's car. Like, more toilet paper than two people sitting in the back. I'm a, we get to the fucking, her apartment, and the, the girl that I'm like trying to get with gets right out, right out and walks away. I'm screaming, get your fucking, get your fucking girl, what are you doing? 